an outstanding team defensive player. You add that to the mix of what we already have, some good things going to happen. Oh, 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 welcome to the family. But you made a heck of a manager, though. I got the water on top. <laughs> it was good. Powell rumbles oh. to the rim and lays it in. This is a very nice debut. Man, you see just over the years his scoring average and what he's been able to do. How about a floater to the game? This is literally the greatest start in the history of Clippers basketball. Simplify the offense enough to have both Powell and Covington feel. Covington rises for three. It is good. I'll tell you what. Playing, but the end of the day, it's just basketball. When you have a shot, you take it. If you don't, you make it. To do this, imagine like Chick fil A is at the Atlanta Hawks Arena, so they got a lot of games on Sunday. Oh, oh, Powell with the flush flight right down the lane, open alley. Norman Powell softly drops it in to the conversation. This letting you know I didn't let that one go. Powell alone for three. You, you can tell he's he is fired up to be here. And that's not to say he wasn't elated to be a blade. The ball movement, quick decisions. I think it's gonna be very important because now you're gonna be able to open up some stuff in the little slip screen that time by Kennard. Open it up for it. Middleton is probably looking for it, and now the lack of communication that has to be DiVincenzo on the backside. 101-84, 10 and a half to play. Clippers have battled back this year from 25, from 24, from 35 as Norman Powell counted on a foul and send him to the line. Eyes are going to open up a little bit here in downtown Los Angeles. Long two for Serge early in the clock. No, Covington with the rebound. Powell seductive ball fake. Back to Covington in the corner. The mm. tray is good. 101 to 90. A little bit more hustle, more grit. You see Covington bring it to the table. An offensive rebound. Storm and Norman giving it right back. Covington able to make him pay. Clips only down 11. It's the best, and it's not a stereotypical athlete oh. ball as a pocket comes in and flushes it out of the break. He gets he gets his hands dirty, yeah, and does. it was awesome. Drew Holiday didn't discontinue his dribble. He stayed with it and forced Marcus Morris to make a decision who stayed back. Powell, 28 in his debut in 22 minutes. Morris trapped, plays top side to Powell on the wing to an open Ibaka for three. It is good. Clippers have 17 threes. They have shot it well. Honestly, no. Um, when my agent called me, uh, I didn't believe it. Um, I knew that they were going to make moves uh, on Portland just the way, you know, Ant was playing and just uh, how the team was structured and wanting to build <clears throat> things like that. Um, some of the guys were talking, but um, I definitely didn't just because, like, I signed. I knew I wasn't untradeable, but um, just because I signed the, the long-term uh, deal I had five years. So, um, you know, I bought a house out there. I was like, I'm going to be here for uh, a little bit. Um, I think that was the only bad thing about the trade was that I had just uh, got my furniture into the house. Um, so I didn't really get to enjoy that. But um, I definitely didn't think I was going to uh, be traded. But um, <clears throat> feels good. I'm, I was excited. I was definitely happy to uh, be coming home. Um, I think what's so unique about me is that I've been, literally, if you follow my career, like I've been in every single role uh, on the team. You know, the guy fighting, scratching, trying to get into the rotation, uh, being in the rotation, being taken out of rotation, playing alongside Kyle DeMar, uh, playing alongside uh, Kyle and Kawhi, um, playing off of them. Um, so I think uh, <clears throat> I can fit perfectly in here, well, you know, with PG and Kawhi. You know, I've known them uh, for a while. Um, I've uh, always been talking to PG in the, in the summer and throughout the season when, when uh, I would face him. Uh, it's, it's good. You know, I think I've developed uh, myself, my game, um, to fit in any role that you need me. You know, on nights where they're not playing or whatever it is, you know, I can be uh, one of the primary guys and I can also, you know, be the guy finishing plays when they're drawing all the attention um, with my ability to shoot the three, space the floor for them and be able to uh, attack the basket and create uh, from there. So I'm excited uh, to see um, when everybody gets healthy and um, the team, uh, what we can do. Um, it wasn't uh, too important to me. You know, I just wanted to go out there and play. Um, I was excited, you know, to be home, have my family 
I have friends in the stands. Uh, just wanted to go out there and play and compete, you know, not think about anything, go out there and just try to win. You know, I don't want to focus too much on, uh, you know, trying to score or um, <clears throat> being the guy or whatever. You know, let the game come to me. Um, the defense would dictate, you know, how I attack and how I play. Um, and that was it. You know, I wasn't worried about uh, anything besides going out there and competing and making plays to uh, try to help us get a win. That's all of what I'm all about. I'm not a stats guy. You know, I know if you play the game the right way, all that stuff will take care of itself. I mean, I mean, if you're a student of the game, you watch, you know, you keep up. If you're not watching the game, you're keeping up on the NBA app, you know, seeing the scores and everything like that. Um, uh, but like you said, they have a good thing going here. I mean, they got a team that fights, that competes. Um, each and every night, they give themselves a chance to win, even when they get down. You know, um, like tonight, man, we, we fought, you know, and made it, got it to single digits, you know. Um, just a few more stops, um, a couple bounces will go our way, and I think we can tie the game up. But um, I like that. You know, I love a team that's like that, that everybody's pulling for each other, everybody's fighting, everybody's clawing. That's, that's my game. That's who I am as a person. I'm a, I'm a grinder. Um, so my brand's all about understanding the grind, and I feel like I fit uh, perfectly in here. You know, to be one of the best, you know, I want to be in a position with, where PG and Kawhi are at. You know, that's what I train to be. Um, you know, I want to be an all-star. I want to um, <clears throat> get to that level. You know, I want to um, achieve uh, everything I can and get everything I can out of this. That's why I push myself so hard. That's why I work so hard, uh, you know, and I uh, uh, think I'm ready for that, you know, to be in uh, that role as a, as a primary guy. Um, that's why I go out there and try to prove every single night, you know, that I can hold my own against the best in the, in the world. Um, but also, you know, it, it's, it's about winning for me, you know, not only achieving those individual goals, but achieving them as a team um, is what's most important. But I train that way, you know, to go out there and, and show that I can be one of the guys that they can rely on each and every night, you know, to, to help get wins. And um, I think that's what, what's um, kept me in this league, that mentality, you know, of always trying to improve, always trying to uh, <clears throat> prove to yourself and everybody, you know, that you know, I can be more than what anybody expects.